welcome back to another Willis video. This tutorial was requested by a guy called David Comalang. Thank you so much for the request, bro. Really, really appreciate it. David challenged me to build a Japanese style house um, for a tutorial. So here it is, ladies and gents. We got some lovely looking pandas around the place. Hello, Mr. Panda. <laughs> He's just chilling. We got a Zen garden over here. Oh, okay. That was a weird squeak. Uh, these awesome style Japanese lanterns inspired by a YouTuber called Magma. By the way, guys, I'll stick the link in the description below to their channel. Definitely go check it out. There's a couple, even some fish around this pond. I can't find it. There, there they are. There they are. They've even got names. Um, of course, they're named Koi's because Koi's live in Zen Gardens in Japan, which is pretty awesome. Bamboo around the place. And, of course, if we have a look inside, so we've got this decking area going through the, through the front door. We have this awesome looking shelving unit with a couple uh, items from maybe some wars in Japan, maybe some artifacts from those wars, you know, like a little totem up there. We've also got this crossbow. We've got this little, another little rack over here with a couple heads from, uh, not actual severed heads, of course. These are just supposed to represent little statues. Um, maybe, maybe little statues of, again, like a like an ancient artifact or something. A little kitchenette over here. Uh, or you could even use that as a toilet, but I wouldn't recommend going to the toilet in the kitchen. It would be a little bit uh, unhygienic, but, you know, everyone to their own, I guess. Um, we got a dining table over here where you can eat yourself some mushroom stew, which is just there. I don't know what this is, um, but it looks a little bit disgusting. We've also got some bread, which is lovely. I love bread. And a couple of places where you could stick some windows in if you wanted to, block out those two quarts. Got a couple beds over here as well, uh, inspired by Japanese-style beds, you know, inside the floor, um, kind of you know the matches on the floor it looks really really nice and of course a lovely looking little kind of bonsai plant which is just some dark oak saplings so yeah let's get on to the build oh one last thing i forgot to mention is this awesome gate up the top here as well as these japanese style flags um that i did make out of banners um and before we actually drop into the build i completely forgot when i did record the tutorial to actually film this how i built this banner so i will just quickly show you guys right now how to do that as well so you're going to want to go into your inventory, you want to grab yourself a loom just at the bottom of the massive inventory here. So a loom just there, some an orange banner, you're also going to grab yourself a flower charge as well as some red dye, which you need to find it, it's up here somewhere, red dye and black dye this is as well. Uh, red dye, uh, yellow dye, I almost forgot about that as well, um, and black dye. So we're going to place our loom down first of all. Uh, not a single banner on top, that's a bad idea, so, <laughs> banner just in there like so, then we're going to go with our, wait, let me go pick block this one just so I can get the steps, how I did this over here, so as you can see, it's just an orange banner, um, if I go into my inventory quick, it should tell me, yeah, red gradient, yellow flower charge, and, and the, the black dye at the end, so, stick this up here, we get our red dye, stick it in there, and then we go for the red gradient facing kind of going down and then it hits lighter at the bottom. Grab this one out of our inventory, stick this one back into the loom, take our red dye, then we stick our awesome looking flower charge in here. So we put the yellow dye and the flower charge kind of thing in there as well. There we are. You could also use that as just the lantern if you wanted to, but it looks great with a with a border on the outskirts as well. So just the banner in there now. And black dye. Let's see oh, I don't know why that's still in there. Oh yeah, it kind of sit, sits there for now because you've got the, the flower charge already equipped. Uh, but don't worry, it won't put it back on. You just kind of click that one. And there you go, it borders the whole thing off. And now you have the exact same banner as before. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's pop onto the tutorial. Alright, so first thing you want to grab is you want to grab yourself a couple bits of bamboo. So, not much, just... Uh, well, not much, he says, looking at the entire place filled with bamboo. But, you know, as much as you write, like, it's kind of a choice thing. Um, you also want to grab some dark oak wood planks, some dark oak wood stairs. You're also going to grab yourself a slab, so you can make these kind of archway looking things. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a nice big space, because we want to build this entire garden as well. A uh, nice big space, and we're going to build our house in between. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. High with your little gate over here. Well, I say little gate, it's pretty huge. Um, so we're going to actually do ours over here. So, one, two, three three four five and six and then we're going to leave a two-way gap and we're going to go up by six again so like so now what we need to do is kind of make this section look like a like a beam in between so a beam in between that nice and rhymed so going th on the third one up we go this upside down step and we also go upside down steps going inside and then outside as well so 
follow my lead if I get it right. Who knows? It could be it's 2020, you guys. It might it's a new year. We might actually do good. So two up, and then upside down stair there. Upside down stair on the inside, and on that one, and then going out as well on that one. Yay! Okay, that's looking great. Let's just pop on over and refer back to our one. Uh, Roly Poly Pandas once again. So, as you can see now, we've also got a slab above this kind of stared arch, and then we go up with a stair, um, upside down. So let's go and do that right now, because otherwise I will forget. So, as we can tell, we put two slabs like that, and then we put some upside down stairs like that. So we make this awesome shape where you can see the sun through. Cool beans. It almost looks like an oven, to be fair, like the, the inside of a furnace, just there. Pretty cool. Then we go two blocks out on the outside with two slabs above them. So, two blocks in line with these upside down stairs, out like that, two slabs above them, two blocks, two slabs. Awesome stuff. <laughs> um, then we go slab, a slab kind of block on this top, of, on the top of the slab here. Um, so it actually connects up to the, the top of the archway. So it looks nice and symmetrical, like so. There is the gate, that's looking pretty cool. Uh, I think we need to fill in this gap in between, uh, yeah, with just a few slabs like this. Uh, just to make it look nice nice and full at the top, like there's a big wooden beam at the top and then a little one at the bottom. Uh, looks pretty cool. Then we're going to grab our bamboo and we're going to go kind of scatter this just around a little bit around the front like this. Obviously you want to leave this two block gap and preferably the four if you want for the entire gate. So you can show it in all its glory. Uh, free. So another bits of bamboo over there. Looks awesome. Now what we need to do is we need to build, as you can see, these banners here, which are a little bit... Um, awkward if you don't know how to use banners uh, correctly, which I did not know how to do at the start of this video. So I'm kind of glad I did this video. Thanks again, David, for kind of teaching me some new stuff for this. It's, it was a bit of a challenge. It was great fun to do. So we need to go down and grab ourselves a loom, I believe. Loom. And we also need some white banners. We also need some red dye, which is... Okay, here we go. So red dye. We're going to grab 64 just so we have enough. And we're going to slap our loom down there. We're going to stick our white banner. We have to drag this in to the, the slot just there like so we also have to grab our red die and we have to oops we have to just drop this into the slot just here as well and now you can see it go to the outline because we are hovered over the outline up here we want to click the circle one instead and that makes a Japanese flag for us pretty nice stuff and obviously what we do for the underside of these Japanese flags is we just stick a lovely looking cobblestone block just underneath it just to uh, represent a little bit of stone so we go three up then we go th kind of three along from the three, so almost three and then four. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's about here, I believe, just like that. Um, so it's actually behind the archway here. So let's just double check this one, two, three, then one, two, three, going back here. Yeah, cool. Alrighty, this is looking great. So now we need to go for here and then about. So one, two, three, one, two, and three. So here, this is going to be a long tutorial, by the way, guys. So you've definitely stay tuned. We might have to split into a couple of sections. I'm not too sure yet how big it's going to be. Um, so definitely stay tuned for part two if there is a part two. Mr. Panda, what are you doing on top of our archway? We need to build this next. This uh, statue. Are oh, you going to sit there instead? Fair enough. Right. Sorry about him, guys. He's um, he's been doing this a lot recently, you know. <laughs> um, so chisel stone bricks now, we're going to grab ourselves some prismian slab as well and what I did here was I actually lined this up almost with the archway so where this upset our stair is going out for this first beam is where we need to stick our little things like that and then we also need to go up two past the, the flag there so it's like one, two and then it's there and this goes in line with that archway and then just here as well so if you're going from the actual arch, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then you go out by 1 on either side of the, the build there. So don't worry about the too much bamboo at the moment. We can always go back after we've built the house just to kind of add it all in. What we're going to do next is we're going to grab ourselves some water. Uh, not that. I forgot you can't pick block water. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, we need to grab ourselves a, but a buttock. A, a buttock of water. Not what I meant either. A buck. Kit, almost said it wrong again. <laughs> a bucket of water, an andesite slab, an andesite stair, and then we're going to stick these up upside down, going across this kind of lake stream thing here as well. This goes along three blocks for this one bridge. Um, this goes along one, two, 
three, four, five, like so. So let's build ourselves this bridge. So go and kind of leaving a block gap like that. And then we go up down our stair here. Which we need to make this a block first. There we go. Then that there. I'm gonna make a block just this side so we can build it up down our stair. Like so. Like that. So this actually goes a long bit further on this side. So what we need to do is kind of here we're gonna block this out. You don't have to make your stream exactly identical to my one. You can make it how you like. As long as it's kind of sticks to three blocks wide at the maximum, it look it will look pretty awesome. So like this, that's cool. And we're gonna bend ours around over here, and then we're gonna like bend it across around here. And that'll do for now. And then we're gonna mark out this side, so that's cool, goes in there. Uh, then we're gonna make it come out this side as well, so it kind of goes round. And then like that as well, that's pretty cool. And then we can just stick our water in. Just make sure it's all filled up, so you don't want any pieces looking like they're not they're not getting the right amount of water. So like this. Oops. And there we go. Nice one. Okay, so now as you can see, we're kind of making a curve on the right side over here, and then we're making a curve, a smaller curve, kind of go around the the right, the left side, and then connect up to the right at the end. So. You don't have to worry too much if you don't want to build this. You could always cut the, the stream off going like this corner. You could even make this a little park if you wanted to. I'm going to kind of stick to the, the traditional Japanese house. But if you guys want to mess about with this, absolutely go ahead. It is your own build at the end of the day. Do not do whatever you want. So what I want to do to teach you guys how to build the blossom trees is we're going to grab some spruce wood. This is just the normal spruce wood. I don't know why I said dark oak earlier. I apologize, guys. My bad. Um, some pink wool as well. So what we're going to do is basically anywhere around the stream I'm gonna make sure mine's on the corner over here so about here uh, maybe about there ah, grass what are you doing there we go so three blocks up with our spruce then we're gonna go out by one like this out by up by one another out by one up by one then we're gonna grab our pink wool and what we're gonna do is make sure we have two coming off of the wood for all sides of the build and that's kind of like a base plate of where we're gonna start off doing our build so now you can build this cool shape going around and now you can get messy with it so you just want to kind of scatter around your bricks your blocks kind of just making sure it looks really really messy and natural basically we're going for the natural look of a blossom tree because unfortunately minecraft don't make blossom trees which is sad they should totally make them as a mod or something just add them into the game why not that'd be awesome um, so now we're just going to make sure that goes in a lock and then we'll build this down. Ah, uh, yeah, to about there, that's cool. And then we're just going to do the same. Making sure this doesn't look the same, basically, on all sides. We want it to look different every time you look at it. So like this, and then we can make this one go down by three, say. Goes into this weird shape over here. Like this, and then over this side, maybe just fill in that gap. So, we have this sort of weird shape over here. Maybe you want to send this down just so it doesn't look so weird. And maybe just make sure that goes... There we are, see? It kind of looks a bit rank, uh, like random. That's what it's supposed to represent, like a random blossom tree. And like I said, we're trying to go for that natural look. So we want it to look very, very weird. And very much like the leaves are out of control. Because that's basically what they are. We want out of control leaves for our build. So you can even block a few holes in there and stick a couple of, like blossom. As long as that block's filled up, it won't look too bad at all. Like that, say. And you can even make symbols with these, which is pretty cool. And then just fill that one in, like so. Maybe just stand up and down the back. You're never going to be too happy with it, honestly, because it's so messy. Um, but you kind of can get yourself to a point where you think, okay, that doesn't look too bad. So. This side I might just change up quickly, so maybe make that one come down to there, say, and then this one comes down a little bit further, and then this one goes up to the top there, and this one goes like out to the side, and then down on the corner, like so. So yeah, it is hard to make the sort of blossom tree shape in Minecraft because all the blocks are obviously square, um, and obviously it would be great if we had circular blocks, but it wouldn't be Minecraft if it was circular. So you got to kind of make do, and that looks pretty cool. Um, like I said, some of these I went a little bit overboard with, like this one over here. 
this is pretty cool this is much taller and it's like a little bit little bits are hanging off of it instead of like tons maybe like this one over here um so just mess about with the with the pink wall there uh you can never be too happy with it like i said so just kind of mess about and see where you get to with your build so now i'm going to make sure my little stream goes all the way around the build so i'm going to make it come up to this blossom tree i'm going to go up over here now a little bit over this way kind of make it go in a little section there in again so it looks like a little bit of a road sort of shape and then it kind of goes out a little bit goes a little bit funky over this corner and then just kind of start to make it come around the build like this as you can see now we're kind of at the top so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to make this short make sure this one does pretty much the same thing but not identical because again we want this to be a very natural looking build uh, natural seems to be the word in my day <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm saying it loads um, like this so I literally just went a bit overboard with this build to be fair it was such a fun tutorial to make and I've never done anything like this before so it was definitely a new experience um, so if you guys are not happy with it definitely just drop a comment down below saying what you'd like to see if I did this again say um, and then I'll definitely take your advice on board if I do decide to maybe build this tutorial once again so it always helps me to improve as a YouTuber as well, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I know it looks a little bit messy without water in it, but if we fill it up now, you'll be able to see where the, where you can mark stuff out. This is kind of like a base, like I said. You need to have the water in there first, otherwise it'll be really hard to plan out where the rest of your stuff's going to go when you get building. So Make sure that's filled up. Go along with this little stream. Make sure you fill in the corners. Tiny little caps are most important. There we go. Nice one. And you don't even have to worry about underneath. You can just keep that dirt if you wanted to. Um, or you could even change it up to some cobble as well if you would like. Um, but this looks great. I might just change this corner so it looks a little bit more rugged. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to build the house itself. So I'm going to scrap my inventory now. We're also going to grab ourselves some spruce wood. Some block of quartz. We're going to need some dark oak fence. Obviously, we've got spruce wood already. Some dark oak wood slab. Well, it's hard to say. And this is actually, these are not stairs. These are just slabs as well. Um, we don't need any more blocks. We kind of slab up everything at the moment. Some dark wood stairs. Some redstone lamps. We're also going to need this yellow stained uh, glass pane. This is basically represent like a gold sort of... Uh, stick because they don't unfortunately do gold sticks it, unless you wanted to use end rods that would look pretty cool as well uh dark oak trapdoor and of course this banner over here and i'll show you how to make this in a minute all right so what we're going to do is we need to mark out our house so this goes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve amazing a nice symmetrical house so look where you want your house to be so you know to make sure you, you have it on this island so I'm gonna make sure mine's a little bit over this side so it's gonna go for like one there so it starts about here say one oh no maybe a little bit further in because we've got that little thing that comes around the outside then one there and then we're gonna make sure we mark this along so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so this takes up most of the space on the island which is pretty cool my other one must have been a little bit bigger on the island size but that's fine if you need to extend your lake out a little bit your little stream out a little bit and then it's all there's always room to improve look at this it's looking huge i might make my sand pit on this side instead um where i've got the opposite on this one that's gonna look cool all right so as you can see you need to go along the bottom by 12 blocks with your your spruce wood here and for these pillars you actually just knock through this block here so it goes all the way up instead of going along um, whereas these ones go along and uh, some of these go along that one's supposed to be going along like that as well and then these pillars what they do is go up by one two three four oops uh, one two three four five six and seven and what they do is they go for like there's four kind of rows there so 
one there, then you do the freeway, and then you do it again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you leave a freeway gap. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you leave a freeway gap again. And then we do it up again. And now we only leave a two way gap for this back one because we have obviously got the door on the front there, um, which needs to be just about here. So we're going to mark the door out. I'm pretty sure it's actually. Yeah, it's just straight away on the door. And then there's like two rows of three on the, on the front there. So about here. And then two rows of three. And another row just on the end there. And now this does exactly the same as that side. So leaving a three way gap. Leaving another three way gap. And then leaving a two way gap for the end window there as well. Going up by seven. Nice. Including the base one, by the way. So now we're just going to change up these logs to face horizontally instead of vertically so they look look a little bit better you don't really have to do this if you don't want to but it is a little bit noticeable from the from the side so if you kind of like to be perfect with your builds or you like to be a bit rough and tough you know if you want to be a little bit uh, rough and tough then just leave it how it is it's not it's not the end of the world at the end of the day but if you want to be you know nice and perfect like I, I try and be in my tutorials I know I make a lot of mistakes but yeah I just like that it looks pretty cool what we're going to do next is we're going to grab ourselves our quartz and we're going to build this up by three blocks high. Like so. Three blocks high on this next one. Three blocks high on this next one. And you get the idea. So it just goes around three blocks high for all of these sections. Now the back one is the exact same as the front. So good amount of rows of three. So kind of three and three then two at the end. This. Oops, I just realized. Gonna make that, make sure that's nice and the same. There we are. And here as well. Oh, that was already the same. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so three high. Three high for around the side. Of course, you don't want to fill in that gap just there because that's where that door is gonna go. And like I said, if you wanted to block out this section that I'm building right now um, for a window just there, maybe, um, like a two block high window, it would look pretty awesome. So definitely, if you do, do that, decide to do that, um, check out the description for my for my following, my links to my other accounts and whatnot. Um, and yeah, just definitely put like at Wing Assassin on um, Instagram, and you can you can definitely forward me your your images of how you build this and stuff. So I'd love to see it. It'd be awesome to see you guys spin on this as well. So going along by three now, and then we can stick the quartz on top as well. So we kind of mark off so there's little sections of beams and whatever. You know what I mean? Like this, say. Like this and then we're going to do this all the way around until we've completed this section up here and there we go okay now on to the next okay so the next thing we're going to do is obviously block grab our block of quartz and we're going to fill this over around and even across the doorway there guys because we're going to leave this gap empty for the actual doors um, but this top section can be filled in with our quartz like so now you're probably wondering why on earth you got a free a gap for the doorway there um, don't worry we do actually fix that in a second I think we put quartz on the bottom bit I'm not sure unless it is just slabs I'll just go check that right now yeah I'm pretty sure it's just slabs so we can make this door frame um, the exact same height as the the blocks there as well so I'm just gonna go do this right now so put this stair in here it's supposed to represent the, the thing there and then, of course, we'll stick the doorway in afterwards as well. Um, so now along the top here, what we do is we grab our dark oak fence and we just fill this over to make it look like... Well, it almost looks like prison cells, but it's not, if you get my drift. It's kind of supposed to represent like a beam going across, but like a skinny beam. Um, not a roof beam, because that's what kind of these structural walls are. But yeah, it looks, it looks pretty awesome. I base these... Uh, this design off of images I found on, on Google of actual Japanese houses and Zen gardens and whatnot um, in Japan and there were some really really beautiful places that I would personally love to visit. Let me know if you guys have been to Japan or you live in Japan in the comments down below, that'd be awesome. So now what we need to do is we're going to grab our slab and we're going to go all the way over, actually I think this is a block, let me just check, 
Nope, that is a slab. Okay, all the way over the top of these uh, these blocks that we've just been building. So nice and simple. This build at the moment is quite simple. It's when you get to this sort of doing the, the the corners and whatnot that it gets really really confusing. Um, but I'll try and go as slow as possible and hopefully uh, make it easy as possible as well. Definitely pause the video if you get stuck at any point as well. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. So now what we need to do is go around the exterior of this build with our slabs, kind of covering up most of the fence we just built. So just underneath that slab line we've made, we need to go all the way around the square shape of the building with our slabs like this. Nice one. And then across the front to connect up to the side. Nice one. So now we're going to build these first confusing corners. And yeah, <laughs> okay, right. So what we need to do is stick a slab on the top there so it kind of connects to this section here, which is where we've been building on top of the, the fence. So let's go and do that now just so we don't get confused. So on the corners, oops, just like that, you want to build this up to basically a block height like this, just with your slabs, like so. Okay, that's a good bit done. So now we're going to go for here and we're going to build a slab going out on either side of the build and then we're going to do the same down. So slab going on either side of the build like this. Um, wait a second, maybe just go and check that if that's up or down. Nope, that's in line with that one. Okay, cool. And that one goes down as well. So like this and then we stick a slab just there. So the slab on the bottom as well and then we stick these slabs going out. Slabs going out first, slab on the bottom. So these slabs going out are in line with this one across the top of the fence there. So same on this last corner, like so. Okay, nice one, guys. He's doing awesome, by the way. Yeah, I know it's really, really confusing, so don't worry. We'll get there in the end. So now what we need to do is got another block from the build, and we need to make this a block height as well. So we may have to fill this gap in just quickly. Um, this goes up to a block height like that. That's awesome. Let me take our yellow glass pane and then we stick redstone lamp underneath, dark oak trap door, orange banner with our cool pattern for a Chinese lantern, kind of Japanese lantern around the outskirts of that, that block there. So same over here. So make the block height. And then we put the banners all the way around. Same on this one. Like so. That is actually a block, which is good. So you could just literally put a block in there if you wanted to, but save yourself some inventory space and just make it with the slabs. It looks a, makes it a little bit easier to grab on the materials you need as well, instead of having to constantly go into your inventory. There we go. Nice one. All right, now for the last one. So put your block, put your glass pane, redstone lamp underneath, trap door underneath that, and then orange banners all the way around your build there we go that looks awesome okay next thing we want to do is of course we need to literally put a couple ups and stairs around this as well so as you can see i think i'm yeah i missed that one out there we go so this end block now where we've got this shape uh kind of the one going out on this corner is actually a, a full block going down um so let's just build this here wait a second how have i done this i'm trying to i'm trying to kind of look at this Fur back to both, so okay, in line with the quartz. All right, okay, I can understand that now. So just here, in line with the quartz, we need to go like that. Then we need to build this up to a block like this. Yes. Okay, cool. So in line with your quartz, like that. Upside down stair, upside down stair. Fill it up with the slabs so you can build that up to a, a nice steady block. So not there. What are you doing, weed assassin? There we go. <laughs> always end up doing a little mistake in the in every tutorial but I guess that's what makes my channel a little bit different <laughs> I don't know if it's for, for better or for worse but hopefully it's for better there we go okay nice one you definitely learn from your mistakes and that's what I always do on my tutorials so there we are that's awesome so now we've got all four of the corners going so now we have this pattern here we need to go in with the stairs now so I'm going to build the, the stair shape here so this goes all the way around and then around to connect up basically to the to the other side as well. So, so you got nice corners on the ends there. Then you go in. 
Don't worry about the floor and inside the build at the moment. We're going to come back to that once we start to decorate the inside as well. Of oh, this cool looking place. I'd love to live here. It's kind of like a dream home as well. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Um, now what we need to do is build some more slabs. So a block up from the stairs. We need to put some slabs on here as well. So like this. Oops. Going around. You're almost making like a pyramid shape here for the, the tower up the top there. So like this. And you just want to go into the build and knock out that slab underneath that you had to use for, for building the, the block there. So next thing we want to do is we want to grab ourselves our spruce wood and we want to build this cool looking tower. So this goes up by three blocks at the moment and we're going to go across to make this a kind of five block shape I think. No, a six block shape. Wow, the maths is good guys. The maths is good. Right. Three blocks, a six. Okay, so on these corner ones, of course, you're going to have to go like make a sideways one, which is going to be a little bit awkward. But don't too worry too much. It'll be all right. Fill it in with quartz. Do the exact same on this side and this side. And the back of the build over here as well. Don't forget your spruce wood in these corners. And then we're going to grab our fence and we're going to fill this quartz bits up now. So make this a full block shape. There we go. Oh, my bad. Made a mistake. <laughs> uh, on these ones, there is another quartz block. So we have like two blocks with a fence. My bad, everyone. If you guys spotted that before me, well done. Sometimes I just get myself a little bit confused. There we go. I, look, I went a little bit overboard with the fences. Just love the fences too much. <laughs> right, now what we need to do is on this corner here, basically on the top of that uh like logs we got we had to, we have to put a cool looking slab on top of these so on there on there one there and one there and then around the outskirts of those slabs we need to go around with more slabs to connect up these gaps as you can see goes round we're going to do that right now so like this so of course there's only basically one layer of fence that you're seeing. You're basically seeing the slab length of fence underneath as well, which is cool. There I make sure you got it up to the up to the other slab there as well. Nice one. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna build this kind of going into a block shape for this area, but of course with the slabs and then we're gonna put two slabs going out like we did for the base one. So this one goes into a block shape. Two slabs going out like that. Block shape, two slabs block two like that and then for the final one exact same and now we have this shape up here and of course we need to build this block just in here so to do that you just go kind of up by three with your with your slabs like that okay let's do it so here here and here and you hear it kind of make the block shape ah nice it's got like a sound effect it goes <laughs> you hear that like a bull, like a like a, almost a plank on a on a ship or something, like a pirate ship. Nice. Okay, that is all the arches done. That is the, kind of the best bit of the build um, completed because that is so so tricky in my opinion. I I got stuck on that loads when I was building this. All right. So now we go along with our spruce and then we're going to build up the shape to build kind of a two-way gap with our with our thing like this. So all right. So spruce wood above the fences like this like this then you want to put kind of one block gap no leaving a two-way gap sorry for your quartz above the stair of the above the fence and the spruce there like so now you have that you can just fill this over with your spruce logs your spruce kind of block they should totally put these in another block instead of spruce wood because it kind of gets confusing so many woods there we go nice one now what we're going to do is we're going to go around the outside on the top of this block so we don't cut off this quartz so you can see this in its glory like wait a second I think it's around the top like this yeah my bad so around the top like this guys all the way around there we are now what we do next is we come in with our wood stairs and we go around all of these spruce wood blocks and we fill these over with the stairs going up like this 
Then we bring in our slabs and we build this kind of block shape, but this is not actually a block if you get my if you know what I'm saying, because uh, it's a little bit weird. This is not actually a block. Uh, you wouldn't be able to place anything on it. Look, see, it's a slab, but yeah, it's a little bit awkward. So then we put the actual blocks in the top there as well to make this tower. And there we go. That is awesome. So let me just go and double check. This is all good. So we actually have this coming up by three. So one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I made a little bit of a mistake here. So this actually goes just underneath the quartz. Um, so what we're going to have to do is kind of make this go up one block. So let's just get rid of this a second. And then we'll do this again. It's kind of like a marker. It's a little bit tricky. This, Like I said, this is kind of the most confusing bit of the build. So this becomes a normal block. Like this. And this is where we're going to make our kind of shape here. Stick the slab top there, flat corner, and then we can fill it around like this, up to that, that block, and then we stick that one higher. This one goes in like that, and then we go out on these two, so in like that, out on these two, in again, out on these two, and the last one, and then we build this up like a three-way slab, and then we knock off the blocks there on the bottom. like that so we actually have like a normal sized block on top of the build hanging over the edge there we go okay nice one that was a little bit confusing that end bit i apologize for that guys does get a little bit confusing and complex when you see the quartz way too much you're kind of like oh my gosh what's going on it looks strange but that's cool thanks a lot for watching guys really hope you've enjoyed this quick really size awesome video i say quick it was like 30 minutes long i'm so sorry <laughs> um Part 2 is going to be coming soon, so definitely stay tuned for the interior and the gardens um, on this build. Thank you so much, David, again, for the request, mate. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you at Part 2.